Hi friends! As a blogger, I have to regularly renew articles at my sites. Their quality depends not only on the relevance of the material, but also on the quality of photos. But a good camera is only half the battle. We need good lighting. And for this you need a good flash. Built-in flash does not always satisfy. Finished models are quite expensive, so I decided to buy only the Xenon lamp and to do the converter by myself. The principle of the flash tube working is well known. The gas and tube become ionized when applying a high voltage to an ignition electrode, cathode. Ionized gas flow reduces the resistance. Then in a short time the capacitor is discharged. Thus formed a bright flash. In this video I show you how to make the main part of any flash converter for fast charging of high voltage capacitors. The most successful and easy solution is a Valdemar converter. This single-ended flyback converter built on UC3845PWM controller. The converter circuit contains a master oscillator, power transistor and a step-up transformer. This circuit is able to charge the capacitance of 1000 microfarad in couple of seconds. It has an output voltage controller and capacitor charge indicator. It is also complemented by control function of maximum voltage on the capacitor. Thus, you can set the voltage to which the capacitor must be charged. Let's start with the most difficult. I mean the winding of the transformer. It has a pair of winding secrets. If done correctly, the power transistor will not be heated, even if the converter is loaded with incandescent lamp. For example, 40 watts. The core is taken from a computer ATX format power supply with capacity of 350 watts. First, it is necessary to disassemble the transformer. How to do this is shown in one of my videos. Next, you need to carefully remove all the windings. New primary winding is wound with 5 wires of 0.6 mm each. I use multiple wires solely for the convenience of winding. For the secondary winding can be used wire from 0.5 to 0.8 mm. First on the bare frame is wound the first half of the secondary winding to fill one layer. It is about 28 to 30 turns. Insulate this layer with a transparent adhesive tape of Teflon tape. I prefer adhesive tape. Then one primary winding. It is 5 turns in one layer. Isolate with several layers of tape. Then wound the second part of the secondary winding. Insulate it and pull out the end of the wire. Thus the primary winding is in the middle. On both sides it is surrounded by the secondary winding. Now it is necessary to glue the halves of the core. But the scheme is single-ended converter, so transformer must have a non-magnetic gap. To do this, cut out a piece from an ordinary A4 paper and glue it. Collect transformer. Fix the halves together with tape or they can be tightly glued with super glue. A few words about the components. It is necessary to use high-speed type rectifier diode with reverse voltage of at least 600 volts and a current of at least 1 ampere. Transistor IRF3205 can be replaced by IRFZ44 or other low voltage and channel FAT with a current above 30 amperes. Input choke can be omitted. But if you will put, it is possible to wind with wire from 1 to 1.5 mm. No any special criteria. All electrolytic capacitors have a voltage of 25 to 35 volt. Can be more, but it makes no sense. The capacitor in the output circuit is the ceramic type and 1000 volts. The scheme is run by pressing S1 and turns off when capacitor fully charged. Take care! Charged capacitor is extremely dangerous. Always make sure that it is completely discharged before to touch the scheme. 
The circuit begins to work properly from an 8.5 volt supply. Optimally is 20 volts. The average output power of about 70 Watt of maximum is 100 Watts. Let's charge two capacitors with a total capacity of about 1000 microfarads to 350 volt and look at the time of charging. Video is not accelerated. It is literally a couple of seconds. Once pressing the button capacitor is charged 150 volts. Instantly it quickly goes up. I'll wait for the purchased lamp to carry out more detailed tests. You can find link to archive of PCB and schematic diagram below the video. There is also links to the finished models of similar converters. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, don't forget thumbs up and share with friends. Have a good day. With you was Akakasyan.